Hi everyone, this is Sean for PDF Exchange and today we're going to take a look at creating documents with PDF Exchange Editor, including how to create new documents and convert specific file formats to PDF. So first of all, we'll look at the simplest option, which is creating a new blank PDF document. To do this, you simply click File, then New Document, and then you select With Blank Pages. So we get this dialog box and within it is the option to select the standard size document, as you can see here, all of the standard size documents that are used internationally around the world. Or you can select a custom size document and specify your own dimensions here. Then you specify whether you want portrait or landscape for the orientation. And then the count is simply the number of pages you want in the document. And click OK. And then we've got a new document and it's got five pages, as we can see that we specified. So what about creating new documents from other file formats? In order to do that, we go back to where we were before in the new document section. So here we can see that it's possible to create PDF documents directly from text files, markdown files, CSV files, rich text format files from a web page, from images from the local scanner or from the current content of your clipboards. And it's also important to note that these aren't the only file formats from which it's possible to create PDF documents. A complete list of compatible file formats is detailed in the conversion preferences. And those are the files that you can convert to PDF using PDF Exchange Editor. So we go preferences, we go convert to PDF, and you can see a total list of the available file formats here. It's also important to note that the simplest way to convert compatible file formats into PDF is simply to drag them into the user interface, which will create them automatically using the default settings. So for example, we go to this folder and we take document A and we drag it in here. So just a text document and we'll see it converts immediately into PDF. Or if we want to convert a Word document, we do the same thing. Drag it into the user interface and it will convert right away into PDF. And you can do the same as this with any file format from this list. Just drag them right into the user interface and they'll convert to PDF right away. Another option that you have is to convert multiple files into a single PDF, which you can do using this option here. So we select this and it opens the combined files dialog. From there, we simply add files. We can browse a local computer to add them this way, or we can just drag and drop them from a file like so. We can put an image in there and also the Word document. And there are a range of options that we can use to prepare these files before they convert to the PDF. Um, for example, we can determine how comments, form fields and bookmarks are treated in the source documents. And we can specify the page range of documents that are in the list. And if we want to, we can add uh, an entire folder into this process as well. So once all of the files are there, we simply click OK, and the file will be created right away. And we can see it contains the files that we added in the previous dialog box. A few different options are also available depending on the type of file format that you're converting to PDF. For example, if we go back here and we go to create PDF from text files and we add our three text files and we open them and we click options, we can see we get a range of options for determining the layout of the new page as well as the margins and then the text format. We can determine the fonts and paragraph options as desired for the text in the PDF when it's created. And if we're doing something like a newspaper article, we can add columns. And then there's the file separator, which uh, puts a line in between where files are added into the new, new document. So for example, if you create a document from three documents, after each document in the new single document that's created, there'll be a separator to show the end of one file and the beginning of a second one. So we can add the title for the, for the file separator. And again, we can determine the font and paragraph and we can create a bookmark for each file and we can draw a line to show where the space between files is in the new created document. And then alternative options are available if you're creating a PDF document from an image file. So for example, we'll create one from the editor icon. 
And as before, you can add images one at a time, or you can add all images from a folder. And then once we've got an image selected in the image to PDF dialog box, we click options and we see that there's a range of options for this one too. So there's new page options, image layout options, image labels, image processing, image compression, and image post processing. And there are a range of options for each of these about how you want to organize the images in the PDF that's created from those images. So once you've added the image that you want to create a PDF file from, you just click OK, and then the document will be created right away from the image file. Another option is the Create PDF Portfolio file, which is available here, which is much the same, but when we create the document, we'll see that it is, instead of being a regular PDF file, it's a PDF Portfolio file which is a different type of file format that keeps a group of documents together in one space, but not as a part of a single PDF document in the traditional sense. So you can see that they're listed here. So another relatively new option that we can look at is to create a new document from a web page. So when we select that option, this dialog box will open and then we enter the web page that we want to convert to PDF. So in this case, we're just gonna do a sample one with the Tracker Software website. We click OK. And without the need to open a browser, the software will just go straight to the internet, find the web page, and then convert it to a PDF in the application itself. So as you can see, the website is right here, and it will convert immediately to PDF. So that's another option that you have for creating new documents with PDF Exchange Editor. And these other options are much the same as a markdown, CSV or comma separated values file and rich text format are more or less the same as converting from text document, but obviously you're just using a different format of source document to convert to PDF. And in the case of the clipboard, you're simply using the content that you've got in your clipboard. So for example, we open document A, and we just copy this and then we go new document from clipboard and we can see the text here and we can determine options again with the new page options text format and file separator same as we saw before and then we just click ok and it will convert the clipboard content directly to the pdf so that's another option for converting documents into pdf and you can also use your scanner just to scan the content and convert it directly into pdf so that's about all for today. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it instructive and I'll see you next time. Thanks very much.